Hello, hello. Hello, anybody. Oh, there's one person. <laughs> hello. I don't have any chat yet, but hello, everybody. We have one second only. One rule. Be kind to one another. Hello, Melinda. <laughs> Yay, I made it. I made it. I made it. Oops. Doing a little camera adjusting. And uh, I thought I was all ready. And then I looked up at the clock and it said two o'clock straight up. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Hello, Joey. Lovely to see you, my dear. Oh, my goodness. What a day. I've had a good day. And look, look, everybody. Look. <laughs> I found them. <laughs> uh, and I was just, and I found them in the oddest place. You are not going to believe where I found those. Um, yeah. It, yay, big time. As I was, uh, I was really lamenting last night. I was out of, uh, out of you know, protein type groceries, and I was jonesing for dinner. So I went, um, you know, I I thought, well, I'll drive up to the, you know, to the Taco Bell or whatever, because I could get to the store tonight, uh, either tonight or tomorrow night. And um, but I can't drive at night without my glasses, and I'm so. I said, oh, my goodness. All right. You know, I tried one more time. I sat here at my desk and I went through that night moment by moment. And sure enough, I identified the spot where I had a cascade come off my desk of a pile. And when I went to catch it, I knocked the glasses. They were under my desk behind my old um, flatbed scanner, because apparently that's what happened. Is as I, you know, I tried to catch them and I missed, and I knocked them back there, and that's so I put, stuck my head back there, <laughs> which at my age is is no easy task to bend under the desk and look behind something that's already on the floor, and. Uh, and sure enough, there they were. So I was just delighted. Hello, Mona. Hello, Deb. Hello, Gary. Hello, everybody coming in. Um, everybody that's here. Thank you so very much for being here with me today. And hopefully you can hear. And I apologize if I sound a little breathless. We are uh, in the aftermath, of course, the hurricane. We had lots and lots of rain here in Virginia. Not, you know, the, when the winds weren't too bad, neighbors across the street lost a couple of big tree branches. Uh, and we kept the power the whole time. Um, but uh, it it's moldy outside because it's still humid and warm. And of course, my throat closes off in the mold. So uh, if I if I suddenly go mute on you, it's because I'm having a bit of a coughing attack trying to get my lungs to open back up. Anyway, I thought that we would work today on um, my drawing, uh, one of the new dragon drawings. This is, I think, the only one that I haven't personally colored, and it is Creatures of Age and Wisdom. Uh, I did put a link to it uh, down below in the description. Uh, it is in my Etsy shop, and uh, if I do it right... Let me pull this up and scroll all the way to the bottom. And I should be able to come up with, uh, copy, and pull this back up. I should be able to come up with an Easter egg for you. There we go. 
uh, which will give you 25% off if you decide to purchase this or any other item in my Etsy shop today. Um, hello, Elizabeth and Rochelle, and uh, it's lovely, and Caroline, Nika, lovely to see you, um, and everybody. Oh, I'm just so thrilled. I'm thrilled it's Sunday. I'm thrilled that Silly Hurricane is over, um, and we're not worrying about it. And I also wanted to show you guys how I spent um, a good deal of the hurricane uh, as I'm greeting everybody coming in the door. And this is the picture that we started last week. And this is how I finished it. Um, I had kept the, uh, the frame neutral and just did it in one. I mean, this is literally one pencil. It's the intense gray, neutral gray. And I just used it uh, in various ways to indicate the silver. I used the blue uh, for the sapphire gems. And then I kept the flowers really neutral with their coloring. I did that with um, Cali Art markers. And then I went over them all with um, glitter gel pen. So. I really like the way it turned out. I hope you do too. And so then I worked a little bit on this, which we started two weeks ago uh, during, a, I think, a Friday. This was the Friday impromptu. And this is Tatiana Bogima Stalova's uh, drawing out of her book, uh, Vintage Classics 2. And I did... I doing this with Cali Art Markers as well. And it's not, I mean, I, I still have the leading edge of the wing to do and the face and the, um, uh, this doohickey down here. <laughs> and of course the rest of the leaves, but I, I'm liking the way it's turning out. And um, then of course I, I did finish this is the color along for August, and I am I have one more section to film, and that's the background. But this is now that it is uh, done, and this is done with Delhi pencils. So anyway, you do, Rochelle? I haven't seen the third one yet, and I want to get that. Uh, I, hello, Libby. Nice to see you. And... Um, Hopefully I've caught everybody. If I haven't uh, said hi to you, uh, please don't take it personally. Um, I may have found my glasses, but that doesn't mean that I'm not blind as a bat. <laughs> and I've been talking on Instagram all morning. So, uh, and that always messes with my eyesight a little bit. So I thought that we would do this today in a medium we haven't dragged out of the box in a long time. I could do it in uh, Inktense, which of course you know is always gonna be my my first choice. So where were they? Oh, where were my glasses? They were actually behind the old flatbed scanner, which is balanced on a box underneath my desk. So when I went with a new system, which is sitting on my desk, I just left the old system in place, and, and um, when I caught the avalanche <laughs> that of stuff that had fallen off my desk, I accidentally knocked them. Apparently, they skittered across the top of the old uh, flatbed scanner and lodged themselves between the desk and the, the scanner, so they weren't on the floor, and they weren't visible but they were there nonetheless. <laughs> so I just had to laugh because I had really given up trying to find them. I thought, you know, they're really going to turn up somewhere, but I really wanted to go out and it was nighttime and I cannot drive without my glasses. I spent, at, at night, I, I won't even attempt it. During the day, it's not so bad, <coughs> but at night I would never... I would never do it. I would be a danger to other people on the road if I did. 
uh, so I won't do it. <laughs> but, oh, I'm glad, Elizabeth. And there's still one more section to film, and that is the background. And I am going to change that up and just do it blue. Um, but uh, I'll probably, we'll see how it goes with the Neo Colors today to decide what color I'm going to end up doing it in. But um, I, I had such fun doing that, especially with those uh, deli pencils. They just behave so nice. Um, I, you know, I'm actually presbyopic, uh, Rochelle. I, I am nearsighted, and, but I can't see up close either. With, I have to take my glasses off to see what's up close and put them on to see anything at a distance. So I have, these are the progressive lenses, and these were about $600 when I bought them. Uh, and which is why, you know, that I, I, replacing them would be a big bite. Um, and so, but they've gotten to the point where my eye, my prescription has changed. Uh, but I, you know, I can't actually replace them at this point in time. So I just take them off whenever I need, because as long as I, you know, I can read without my glasses on, that's not a problem. So, um, I just cannot wear them and see anything up close. And if worse came to worse, I have this little doohickey, which of course is just wonderful. If you want to blow something up to be able to see it. So I don't have to resort to that except on um, uh, like boxes of, you know, if you're looking, if you have to figure out the instructions on something and it's written in tiny print, <laughs> I am too. I am really glad I found them too. Anyway, uh, so I thought that we would do this in the Neo Colors today, or at least uh, lay down a base layer uh, with Neos and maybe do a little pencil, um, uh, pencil work on it. Or I could do it with the, the uh, ink tents whatever you guys want to do. I can do them with any medium. Um, you know, I have the Koenors, which are the tritones. That would work. I have the, um, uh, I could do it in gouache. And okay, Shannon, that is wonderful. I know that you do Sundays with your dad and, you know, and the, the church and yeah, you cannot, you should not get caught watching YouTube in church. <laughs> uh, I just love that about you. And hugs and thank you for being here. Um, and uh, so anyway, it's just been a fun week with, uh, you know, with all the buildup to the hurricane. It was like, I talked to Ann a little bit about it. It's like the, the media just does not do us any favors at all. Those of us who live here on the coast of, um, you know, of the United States with these buildups of, you know, watching all of this. Hi, Susan. Hi, hi. And, um, and it's Mom Wilkes. I just love that. I was just... Uh, uh, just lamenting that here in the United States, we don't have, uh, you know, we the media just kills us with the anxiety whenever we have a hurricane coming in. And I want to say a special thank you to Morticia, uh, who sent these to me. They are the, they are 10 colors of Neos that I did not have. So my set went from a 40 set to a 50 set, just like that. And so that's what these are. Um, I obviously I don't have room for them in the case, but that was just the sweetest thing. She had sent me a lot of watercolors, uh, mostly Daniel Smith, and um, so we are going to be breaking those out, but not today. Uh, today we're going to do the the um, the neos. So let me grab a swatch book. Because you know I've got everything swatched. And how is everybody? And um, and what is going on in your lives this week? Uh, 
And while I find the Neo swatches, I will watch for anybody who wants to answer that question or not. Oh, my Pearl X page. I love my Pearl X page. And, um, oh, and also, uh, for those who didn't see it, uh, these gorgeous gouache pearl colors. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's the Arteza metallic gouache. It's a definite thumbs up. Last week in the mountains, and that was for Memorial Day, and home next Sunday. Oh, okay, so you are visiting the mountains, Libby, and you're going home next Sunday? Oh, that's cool. Well, thank you for being here while you're on vacation. And um, that is so sweet. Okay. Um, so, yeah, those are our definite plus. And I may use uh, uh, some of those on the dragon scales, and we shall see. But when I drew this, so let's talk about this for just a second. Uh, was looking for something and a bunch of pencil tins fell off the top shelf. Oh no, see that's how my glasses got lost. <laughs> Hi Cindy. And uh, oh wow, okay. So it's already up that high. It's already at Nova Scotia. See, now, I didn't, um, I did not check in. Well, I didn't hear anything from my nephews, but I have been watching social media and I didn't see them post anything. So they're in Boston and actually one's in Italy right now, but the other one's in Boston. And um, tins are so wonderful. Love tins. Those tins need a home. <laughs> I love tins. I put everything in tins. And, uh, you know, like this one, it was a Christmas tin. And this has got my uh, Tim Holtz inks in it. And, uh, and this one's got the watercolors in it. Love tins. And I left here now in Newfoundland and Labrador. Ah. Oh. Those just sound like such wonderful places. <laughs> I love that. Great dogs. <laughs> Both a Newfoundland, and New, a Newfoundland and a Labrador are great dogs. <laughs> and um, well, did you come out of it all right, Cindy? That's the you know that's the key, right there. I mean, the, obviously you're here, so it must be okay. We, I blessedly. That's the first time that we've had a storm that we did not lose the power where I am. And um, and it was just amazing. I couldn't believe I might sort of go to position in a uh, in a hurricane or a, a stressful situation like that is to sleep. And so I basically slept through the hurricane. Uh, well, hello, Bengali queen. Welcome to you. And um you are new here, and welcome, welcome. And uh, and so, but man, I'll tell you what, the sound effects were pretty amazing, especially when the neighbor's pecan tree cracked off yet another branch. They've got a big, dead, dying pecan tree. It's like 200 years old, uh, or 100, but see, it's at least 100 years old. And, um, and it, it is a danger. It is a danger to their house, to my house, and to uh, everybody, you know, anywhere near it. Uh, anybody here? Yeah, we're here. We're all here. Can you not hear us? Or see us? Anyway, um... Okay, the, the uh, so anyway, I was talking about this story. So this is Creatures of Age and Wisdom, of course, and it's meant to represent the air, the land, and the sea. So um, 
The dragon, of course, occupies the air. The owl is more the land, even though he flies. Uh, and then, of course, the, the uh, sea turtle is the sea. And so I wanted to color the sea turtle uh, with an underwater background, the owl, obviously, with wood, and then the uh, this guy with the sky. And uh, because I like um, my skies to be night skies, I was thinking that I might add and show you guys how I would do it, a moon. And uh, so if you wanted to do that, and once again, I, there's no artist in the world who is going to object to you adding things to your picture. So if I wanted to add a moon to this, I would just simply take something circular and do that. And you've got a moon. Um, and or a sun, it, you know, if that is. And the same thing, draw in some, you know, leafy things uh, for... kelp or something like that. You could do that. And you could just paint it in if you'd prefer. So you can do all of those types of things. And uh, so never be afraid to alter an image. Uh, just don't change what's already there. You can add to it, just don't change it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, you keep everybody keeps losing the internet. What's going on? Is it buffering? Because it, it looks fine from here. And hopefully, let me see if I've got camera controls or not. Yeah, I do. Okay, uh, and I apologize that I got a little dark going on here. I'm not quite certain what's going on with that. Maybe I need to forward. There we go. That's what the problem is. Okay. I, ah, I see what the problem is. I had a cord hanging right down between the light and the... Uh, there we go. Coloring and lurking. Okay, Deb, I should probably get to coloring. It's just on and off, Christine, only a few seconds. Okay. Hopefully that uh, it's going to get better. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to add in maybe some uh, spots in the moon. Like that, maybe something, something big over here. Okay. Uh, so Neo Color Twos. So this is my Neo Forty set, and I've got to decide what color I want. Uh, various uh, elements. I've been studying the um, the the sea turtles. They're not always green. Sometimes they are brown, and um, but I thought that we would start with maybe uh, a nice light uh, color of the lemon yellow to um, start our our uh, our sea turtle, and then maybe add some of the olive greens. Now Karen Dash does make this nifty uh, palette to uh, do their. Uh, their neo colors on to scribble them out, and you can use that. You can color either directly on the page, page.